Oh, sun's out, look. A uh, big thank you to everybody who uh, wished me a happy birthday. <laughs> Appreciated. 74. Bloody hell. I was going to go to Bentham today, but it, weather forecast said, one hour sunshine. <laughs> so I'm back into uh, West House Mill. Uh, bleaching fields where it says one hour rain. So the weather dictated where I am. I'm going to try and get right up the top of the field again. Well, we start off with a very tiny coin ball. Hmm, soil's a bit better now it's rained. What have we got? What have we got? What do we have? It's a button! <laughs> oh, well, there we go. 1806 I think, could be a 1799, I've nothing to compare it with. George III. Good start. And there we go. Nice buckle. Just doing a little section that I've not done before. In the first field. <laughs> By my bee-loving Himalayan balsam. <laughs> Get me gob into gear. Hey, a seal. Bit chopped off. 1814. Now, isn't that a coincidence? When I was up at the Bentham Mill, I got uh, three of these. S. Gurov, his name. <laughs> and I get here and start off with one. Boom. Busy lad. Hey, Rod Loom weight. It's for keeping the fibre under tension when they're weaving. Lead, of course. Okay, another seal. Just this stretch along here and up to here. <laughs> Haven't done this bit, so there you go. 1814, I think. Well, that's a bit of a weirdo. Lead seal, of course. Look at that. Straighten that out and then scan it, see if I can read it. Very hard. Um, along there, message for you, Johnny. Do you know where we came in along this wall here and did one sweep, two sweeps along? Well, these are coming out at three sweeps down. <laughs> you can't get them all, can you? Uh, I think that's a door handle. Could though be a lead weight, but I think it's a door handle. Bloody heavy. <laughs> I think that's a Queen Elizabeth half penny, about 1960. Absolutely grot. <laughs> I just come back to my bag to get walking up the field and uh, I thought, oh no, I missed that little bit. There's another George III. Ah, oh, silver button with a bobble on. Had a few spots of rain, but it seems to have just missed me. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Oops. You know, it's the absence of sheep, lambs. <laughs> Father's just been down, zoomed round, picked them all up to separate the lambs from the sheep. Seems it's time for the young uns to go on their own. Ah, or to mark it, one of the two. Ah, still, that's farming. I think that's a very old um, George III. Can you see him in there, CB? Very thin shot at. Oh, there. <laughs> Look at the size of that lead. <laughs> oh, that's staying here. I'm picking that up on the way back. Another George tree. They are uh, obviously been sitting along this side of this beck here in the field. Oh, another lead seal. Uh, I reckon that's 17, oh, 99, I've got 89s and 9, no I haven't, I've got 98s and 99s, so I reckon that's 99, a very delicate bronze ring, sun's out again. I just had a, a two-way signal, 95, highest pitch uh, I can get on the audio. 
and it turned into a ginormous loom weight look <laughs> that's got to be over a kilo <laughs> it's the biggest I've ever had is that wowee another seal uh, looks like 1810 but if you look close it's 1814 and that says um, Makarovic, I think. Makarovic. Yay! And another one. Uh, again, 1814. And. Ooh. Well. Yeah. Nice seal. Oh, it's nice when these clouds roll in and then <laughs> roll out again. <sighs> well, I'm not going to get up the field. I'm stuck on this particular little strip along here. Just found a spoon handle. <sighs> Isn't it amazing? Walked past here dozens of times and never actually done it. The farmer's got his land separated from the sheep, but they don't want to be separated. They keep trying to get back. <laughs> oh, where's he going to put them? Top field, hopefully. Oh, a 1p. I'm on my way back now. Uh, it's too hot. I've done enough for today. And I'm carrying several kilos of lead, which doesn't help. <laughs> Just working my way to that wall corner. Coin ball! Couldn't let that get away. Huh? Oh, are you? Oh. Yeah, the button, aren't you? <laughs> What's that white thing? Nothing. Ha uh. <laughs> A button. Oh well. Oh, lucky, 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 a button. Well, I've stayed on another hour and I've been going over where I found the lead uh, trading tokens very carefully. I've had quite a few signals, very small and lead, but no tokens. Just come up with this uh, pewter button. One of these, ooh, could be silver. No, it's got something on the back. <laughs> but we'll carry on until I fall off. Oh, low numbers. Disgusting condition, but it's a bale seal. Huh. I don't know if that was a bale seal or not. It would have been one of them big manager ones if it was, but... Yeah, I'm not too sure. And another one, I've just come back over where I was. And another, which said Z Temkin. Or Z Temkin. Z. English Z. That number three. Uh, no, Russian. And another one, a couple of feet away. 1804 this one I was doing that strip there and I only came as far as the bulrushes now I'm just having a little toddle here and I've got two already good one uh, 1931 bronze penny sorry 1921 uh, not bad Nick oh <laughs> it's not letting me go Oh, brass cog. Half a brass cog. A bit of everything. It's been a good trip. It's the bloody hot. <laughs> Another big lead door handle. <laughs> Gonna have got masses of lead in my bag. Right. Haha, <laughs> that is it. I'm on my way back. Hey, look what I found. Cricket ball. <laughs> Somebody's had it right out the cricket field over here. Hey. 
They're not as hard as I remember. They used to be hard, these things. Get hit with them, you knew it. Hello again. Welcome to the Roundup. <laughs> you can tell this is a West House mill hunt. I mean, look at the bits of lead. <clears throat> I, I only did the first field out of three. I didn't get a chance to get any further. But every one of these, I was picking up some very low numbers, but they could well have been seals or, or lead tokens, so look at them. Most of them just scraps. This one that started making a whirly gig out of this and then give it away. Here it's been cut. Um, anyway, that's all going for scrap. Then look at some of these bronze fittings off the machinery where they broke. These are going in for scrap as well. Gunmetal, it's, it's really the best of bronze there is. But they're all worn, worn to destruction. <laughs> now that's just a hinge. <laughs> Bit of pipe. Looks like it was ripped off. A spoon handle. And I like these bronze cogs. I've said it before, I'll say it again. These are real currency at, at heritage centres. The old industrial th places, they love them. You know, they can't get enough. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Cricket ball. <laughs> oh, British pastime, watching cricket. Ah, oh, these, these are hard, are these balls? You know, there's nothing, nothing forgiving. Apart these things, they're heavy and they're hard. And if they hit you, God, you know it. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. But I'll take it back with me when I go back and throw it at the linesman. Big bits of lead. Locker, locker handles, door handles. Lots of them. They're all heavy and they're all big. Everything's made out of lead up there. They had a lead mine just, to, just up the road, so there was no shortage of lead. Buttons, lots of buttons. Pewter buttons, brass buttons, buttons with uh, gilding on. And where's the one with the, uh, there we go. Silver with a bobble. I don't know what the bobble is. It's iron, so it didn't, didn't come through right well. And a buckle. I don't normally get buckles up there, but uh, there you go, nice buckle, I like nice shape stuff, I like anything with a nice shape, <laughs> a tiny little ring, what, tiny little bronze ring, ladies obviously it won't, it won't even go on my little finger, tiny little ladies ring, now, bits of lead. A lead bung for something. That's been put in something and been given a hammer. Look at that. Colossal piece of lead. Whoa, it is heavy. <laughs> I'm going to be very careful putting this down. I'll break the countertop. Listen. Wonk. Uh, loom weights. These are the ones that go on rods and they keep everything under tension uh, during the weaving. Now this, oh this, this is absolutely huge. There's about three pound of lead, well over a kilo, well over that, but you know, I put it on my scales and the scales just said full, <laughs> refused to give me a, give me a measurement. Look at that, that is a, that is one ginormous loom weight, and it's heavy, boom, <laughs> coins, 1970s penny, 1960 Elizabeth second half penny, horrible, 1921, quite nice, bronze penny, uh, George V, then we got on Georgian coppers. 
1806, that's a 1797 because it's bigger than the others and same size as a penny look. So that's how I know. And a 1775-ish. So a fair bit of age with the coins, but no silver. Silver's hard won up to this neck of the woods. It's not like uh, over on the Bentham site where it keeps getting in where me seals. Now these these odd little bits here, these, I'm sure these are cloth bale seals. They're very thin lead and, and they've got these striations on them, look if you see them right. And they're, they're cloth, once the linen has been made into linen, these are the seals which we use for keeping the cloth bales together. Uh, they were really um, bale tags, cloth bale tags rather than seals. And there was one that went through the middle of the head and sort of snapped in like a stud. But getting one in one piece is a hard, hard business. And then, lo and behold, nine more seals, eh? That can't be bad. I mean, that place just keeps giving me seals. <laughs> you can go all your life and never find a, a Russian lead bale seals, but I know where they are, don't I? Let's face it. <laughs> That one, we uh, no idea. These I should be able to identify. Uh, some are in good condition, some, some are a bit grot. But we'll do our best. All gist to the mill, all going on the database. So there you go, I'm quite pleased. Nine more seals, oh that's, that's my day made, it's that. So there you go, look. Interesting hunt, loads of stuff. As Johnny says, he's never known a site like it for, for producing targets. Every step you're hitting something. Be it lead. <laughs> so, as they say, old boy, let's have a game of cricket. <laughs> Dear, look at all the work that's gone into making that ball all stitched and... I don't know. I remember them being heavier than this. Of course, I was a lot smaller when I used to play cricket as a lad. Uh, but <laughs> I will say, if you get anywhere near cricket, get away from this ball. If it hits you, you will know it. <laughs> My wife was watching cricket once and she got hit in the head with a cricket ball. <laughs> Still, she survived. <laughs> Pretty as ever. <laughs> Anyway, you take care, get out there, go get it, look, tell us see you next time, you take care, bye.